Last week, I decided to come visit Wellington. I'm actually at Peaceful Water Sanctuary, or Sanctuary. I've lived in Florida all my life and I've literally never been here. This is the first time that I've been here. I'm not really a nature person, but if you're a nature person and you love taking photography, looking at birds and seeing different animals in their element, I suggest coming here. It's really pretty and it's so green. They do have like a beware sign though of alligators. And so I'm really hoping I don't run into anyone. Um, so yeah, let's go check it out, see what they have in store. city girl at heart so yeah the quiet takes some getting used to but I feel like this is really good for like meditation if like I said if you're really into photography if you're really into nature if you're really into watching birds this is the place to be you still feel connected to the city because you see cars driving behind you today is such a nice day there's a breeze it feels so good we're in like the mid 70s so this is the epitome day to go and i just wish i saw more flowers i don't know why in my head i thought it was gonna be a botanical garden nature trail walk but this is still a vibe so these are the key points it's a really easy trail. I actually didn't even wear sneakers. I had sandals on and it was doable. Second thing, you have signage everywhere. It was the first time that I ever came on the trail and I didn't get lost, so that was a win. And third, I have to say it's very peaceful. It's really quiet. You actually get to feel like you are somewhere else, if you know what I'm saying. I. I it's, it's just a lot of greenery, which you rarely see in Florida because we are, are very like a suburban area. And at least that's what I think so. I think I always feel like I have to go up north in order to see all this greenery. So it was nice to see greenery in my backyard. And they open at 8 a.m., they close at 8 p.m., which makes sense because no one is really there there's a boardwalk and then there's also a walking trail and on the walking trail they have signage that says beware of alligators so i don't think it would be a smart idea to have a picnic on the walking trail and on the boardwalk they don't really have a lot of seats like there's three areas that you can sit but there's no coverage really on the boardwalk so i don't really know how nice that would be for a picnic but you can decide that it's still nice though. I definitely think you should check it out. And it's something that you can do with your kids. It's something that you can do by yourself. If you want to just take a walk and not be at the beach or be, I don't know where else you take a walk, but it reminds you it, that you're in nature. So definitely check out Peaceful Water Sanctuary. During the month from January to April, Wellington hosts a music and food truck festival that takes place every Thursday. They have local artists come out and you're able to watch a free concert. All you really need to do is bring a long chair or a picnic and you get to hang out and listen to music. And they have a few food trucks out there as well where you get to sample food. Obviously, you have to pay for that, but that is a great way to get yourself ready for the weekend. So oh, I got comforters from Taste of the World. So I wish they offered healthier options, but the comforter was really good. The sauce made it even better. So I got shrimp with hush puppies but they have the option to get fries either regular or sweet potato 
ended the night with some dessert. So it was a sprinkled churro over a vanilla ice cream with Reese's Pieces on the side. Every week they have a new artist performing at the amphitheater. So if you find yourself in Wellington on a Thursday around five o'clock, hop over and check them out. So Wellington is known for their equestrian events. It takes place from January through April. I suggest you getting your seats ahead of time because they sell out quickly. But even if you end up getting general admission, just make sure that you go an hour before because the seats are first come first serve. Make sure you bring a hat because if you do get general admission, you will feel the sun. You will actually are in the front center where the sun is beaming on you. However, Sunday, it was a nice breeze. We still wore a hat because you gotta dress up. You gotta feel like you're cute. And the game actually is really easy to follow. The game actually went into overtime, but the team that ended up winning was the Pilots. Go Pilots! Hey guys, just hopping on to end the video. I really hope you enjoyed Wellington. Let me know if you knew those places were here. Please comment below. Let me know what other places you want me to check out. It has actually been really nice just knowing what is in my state. I go to these cities all the time and I just go to the same places. And so I love discovering new spots. So please comment below, let me know what other city you want me to check out in Florida. I do plan on go other places. And let me know what videos you want me to do. Like, do you want me to do more cooking? Do you want something that shows how I work out? Or do you want something totally different from like what I've done before? Maybe I can do a clothing haul. Again, please like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, please share, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!